Oh, Lordy. What's Tom gotten into now? I feel like Dorothy's Bornak from Golden Girls with these shoulder pads. No one's going to watch this. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to my latest episode of Making Fun of the News, where I try and find humor in news stories and hope that it puts a smile on the face of strangers. Hi, and welcome to the loony bin where people wear their dirty robes on YouTube and aren't totally mortified. Oh my God, it's, it's only gets worse from here, people. Anyway, <laughs> I have four pages of jokes. And also I have a new double chin because I've been eating too many donuts. So here we go. <laughs> Police in Nebraska pulled over a man who was driving with a 2000 pound cow in the passenger seat of his car. No, he's not into bestiality and out on a date. He was driving around his nine-year-old cow, who is half Longhorn and half Watusi. I thought it looked biracial. The owner converted the former Crown Victoria police car for when he transfers the bull and showcases him in either fairs or parades. Puerto Rican day or gay? He's driving around in a crappy car from 1996. He should have just kept the Poe. The cow lived up to its name, Howdy Doody, when instead of dropping a cow patty, it released a bunch of beef stew on the back of the car. In addition to cruising for heifers, Howdy Doody likes to take walks, eat treats, and listen to his favorite two life crew song, Me So Horny. The hot mess express known as Tan Mom is running in Florida as a Republican to become a U.S. Senator. Her slogan is Make America Native American Again. Three tanning salon visits at a time. I made this free ad for her to use for her campaign. Aren't you gonna vote for me? As for her qualifications, she was in a coma for two weeks, so she knows what it's like to be the Senate minority leader. She recently went viral when this photo of two white men was released. Do you see her? No? That's because she's the same color as the couch. Hopefully she'll have a better chance at standing out against her competitors. A woman in Texas was severely injured after a bird dropped a snake onto her while she was outside mowing her lawn, which caused the snake to wrap around her forearm but tried to bite her in her face repeatedly as the hawk repeatedly scratched her forearm trying to steal the snake back, which leads to so many questions, but most importantly, why is a woman mowing a lawn? She has a husband. The hawk, I mean, his wings are just flapping. And like her bicep. Don't worry, lady, you're, you're not the only one. We both need to do more push-ups. She wasn't speaking English. She was hysterical. Send her back across the border. Hopefully her husband was not the one who had to finish mowing the lawn. That's her chore. The mother of the six-year-old boy who shot his teacher said that he suffers from ADHD, which stands for attention deficit in high definition. The mother's name is Deja Taylor. Is her middle name Vu? She got charged with not preventing her son from accessing her gun which she said was locked up. Probably she's gonna be locked up pretty soon. <laughs> a moose in Alaska snuck up on a woman and kicked her in the head. You know I clicked on this story real quick. The woman was walking her dog at night and luckily a passenger in a car videotaped it or else no one would have believed the woman. She's so lucky. I'm sure it wasn't the first time she got injured by a moose knuckle. The victim had to get staples in her head from her injuries. So maybe after she recovers, she can repurpose the staples and staple all of her medical bills together. Tom Tursich spent over seven years walking 28,000 miles over 38 countries searching for the meaning of life. Dumbass should have just ordered Chinese food delivery and he could have found the meaning of life in a fortune cookie. You would think that someone from the suburbs of New Jersey who feared death would not go on a walking tour of third world countries. Schools are considering banning chocolate milk. It's part of a new bill proposed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to eliminate diversity and only allow white milk in schools. Chocolate milk is woke. <laughs> I prefer to get my calcium from milk duds. Got milk? No, I don't. <laughs> a few of the lunch ladies also said that they're sick of wearing hair nets because they cramp their style. Ow. I have a cramp in my shoulder. Ow, seriously. <laughs> One lunch lady commented, I'm completely opposed to serving cardboard as a meal. Guy Fieri isn't. <laughs> some lactating lunch ladies have agreed to let students and some gym teachers 
drink straight from their tap. <sighs> Paris Hilton revealed the name of her son is Phoenix Baron Hilton Reum. She, she, she used the word Baron after she heard it so many times when the doctor told her that was the reason why she needed to use a surrogate. Here is Phoenix pretending like he's taking a nap so that Paris would stop saying, you're hot. And here she is giving him herpes. Miami police are on the lookout for a hoochie mama who stole over $600,000 worth of Rolex watches and jewelry from a man she met at a bar. They arrested him for being a huge guido when he invited the Julia Roberts wannabe back to his condo. She's going to be starring in a movie sequel called Pretty Skanky Woman. The skank met the guido at a Miami bar called The Dirty Rabbit. She looks like she works the pole at a strip club called The Dirty Beaver. If my parents ever found these videos where I say these horrible jokes, my mom would constantly be going, <gasps> Police said they believe the woman is in her mid-30s, but did not specify if they meant her age or her bra size. She should have stolen a sweater to cover up those overinflated fun bags. The woman is caught on video leaving the condo, holding two blue solo cups in one hand and two D cups in one chest. Miami police asked the public to call 911 if they see Amy Winehouse in a bikini. A 63-year-old woman in Argentina took a driving test, but she should have gotten a test on her brain instead. Just to be clear, she was supposed to show that she could drive properly. Instead, she drove over a few curbs and then floored it over another curb and broke a light pole in half as her car went on its side. After she got released from the hospital, she got her photo taken, but it was not for her driver license. It was for her mugshot because she got charged with driving while being a dumbass. A pickup truck on a highway in California lost a tire, which caused the Kia in the next lane to get launched in the air. Wheelie, wheelie high. After six years, Ryan Seacrest announced that he is leaving his morning show with Kelly Ripa. Bye. Sexual. Legendary prisoner Martha Stewart won a SAG award, but unfortunately for her, it was for her breasts instead of a Screen Actors Guild award. Martha reenacted a pose that she learned in prison to protect her lady junk from other prisoners who had been convicted of stealing lumber from Home Depot. Bitch stole my pose. Why are you laying like that, bro? Anyway, she also stole my floor mat from my foyer and repurposed it as a hat. She is pretty crafty. This is a close-up of her feet, if any of you freaks are into that kind of thing. That's why I keep my feet at the end of the bed where you can't see them. Here is Megan Fox after the photographer's assistant, I guess, sprayed her with silly string. You know, some dolphin ended up choking on that crap. a young girl wore a rabbit costume with bright flashing lights on a dark plane, preventing adults from taking a nap. Just look at her face when she looks at the camera and raises those rabbit ears like, try me lady. A 32 year old sperm donor quit his job and went on a 9,000 mile road trip to meet 25 of the 96 kids he helped create. I wonder if he drove an infinity, you know, in honor of the number of kids he's gonna end up fathering. He only received $100 for each donation, but he probably ended up spending thousands of dollars to treat the carpal tunnel syndrome that he developed in his left hand for donating so often. I read a headline that said, dinner plate sized surgical tool removed from woman's body 18 months post C-section. The AWR is usually removed once the procedure is completed. Usually? The New Zealand hospital is currently called Te Wetu Ora Auckland, but I'm sure after this lawsuit is settled, it's going to be called We Close Because We Bankrupt. After her second cesarean section to remove it, I'm wondering if she named it Caesar or Cha-ching. In sad news, Kelly Osborne's grandmother died in 1999. On April 22nd, 2023, somebody who looked like they could be Kelly's grandmother died. Barry Humphreys, most known for his character, Dame Edna Everidge, died at 89 years old. Recently, Humphreys was dealing with complications after he had a titanium hip replacement after he tripped on a rug, which I guess is worse than tripping on a drug. This is the face he made after he read the invoice showing how much his new hip is gonna cost. Humphreys died in a hospital surrounded by his family and machines. 
No word whether his family buried his wig with him, but they're going to bury his beard next to him. The annual Met Gala fundraiser, which this year the theme was a tribute to legendary designer Karl Lagerfeld. A lot of the attendees wore black and white, which luckily they'll be able to repurpose if they ever attend a Oreo convention. Kim Kardashian wore an outfit mostly made of pearls. It took her over a year to produce all the pearls from her clam. She hadn't pulled a train this long since she got gangbanged by the Los Angeles Lakers. A mystery guest showed up in a cat costume in honor of Karl Lagerfeld's famous cat. And when they removed their head, it was revealed to be Jesus Christ, finally risen from the dead. It was actually actor Jared Leto. And when photographers saw that it was him, they were like, put the head back on. Olivia Wilde wore a violin dress that hit all the wrong notes. Rapper Doja Cat wore a prosthetic nose to try and look like an actual cat. It looked okay from far away, but the more you zoomed in, the worse it got, which is the same reason why I film making fun of the news from so far away. Ouch, my, n oh, ow, 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 ha, ow. <laughs> ow. Joe Biden announced his re-election campaign for 2024. His slogan is four more months, if I'm lucky. An American Airlines plane engine caught fire after it flew through a flock of geese. Passengers heard a loud clanking noise. They thought it was two people in the bathroom trying to join the Mile High Club. The pilots were alerted to the trouble when they heard the passengers loudly singing, This plane is on fire! Tragically, the flight took off from and safely landed in Columbus, Ohio. This story had a happy ending. No, not the kind of happy ending that John Travolta likes to get with his massages. To make up for the long delay, American Airlines compensated the hungry passengers with free goose burgers, freshly sliced. A Japanese man spent $16,000 to fulfill a lifelong dream to become a dog. Somebody online wrote, this is the most bizarre and insane thing I've ever seen. They obviously never saw Corey Feldman dancing on the Today Show. A McDonald's in Louisville, Kentucky violated child labor laws after officials discovered two 10 year olds working until 2 a.m. But what was the investigator doing at McDonald's until 2 a.m.? Coming home from the local strip club? Louisville lap dances? Officials grew suspicious after a customer reported that their child's Happy Meal came with a job application. McDonald's competitor, Booger King, released a statement saying, we may use horse meat, but at least we don't employ children. Police in New Jersey launched an investigation after hundreds of pounds of pasta were found in the woods next to a water supply, like also known as a creek or a river. Welcome to New Jersey, the Olive Garden state. The mystery was solved when a neighbor looked at their doorbell security camera and saw a man pushing a wheelbarrow full of pasta after he discovered a bunch of boxes of pasta in his mom's pantry after she died. The man was identified as Al Dente. The Pope, or as some people call him, Da Pope, recently had surgery to repair a hernia in his stomach, which he probably got by carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. Canada will start requiring every cigarette to contain health warnings. They need to add one that says, your breath stanks. Every condom should have the saying, wearing this will save you over $200,000 raising a kid. But I guess you'd have to stretch it out to be able to read it. <laughs> Next. 83-year-old Al Pacino and 79-year-old Robert De Niro both recently became fathers again. I guess their linguini can still get al dente, if you know what I'm saying. New York City unveiled vending machines for drug users that include free crack pipes, fentanyl test strips, lip balm, and Narcan for reversing overdoses. They forgot a free bag of Cheetos. Amsterdam is famous for its red light district, which provides easy access to marijuana and hose in windows. The new Stay Away advertising campaign decided against hiring one marketing firm who suggested they hire a Will Smith impersonator to say, keep our city's name out of your Google searches. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Amsterdam also proposed a new law which would force brothels to close at 3 a.m. instead of 6 a.m., which caused prostitutes to earn their streetwalker nickname by protesting with signs like, 
stay inside, 50 euros an hour. Okay, she didn't say that. It said no earlier closing times because like 7-Eleven, these ladies prefer to stay open all night. An Australian cultured meat company unveiled a meatball that was created with DNA from an extinct woolly mammoth. However, due to some concerns about how a modern human's immune system would react, it is not edible, like any food featured on Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Supporters, also known as investors who want to quadruple their money, say that lab-grown food is less dependent on water and billions of acres of land and hoping that horny cows will want to mount each other. Ooh, yeah. That was embarrassing. 50 years ago, Martin Cooper initiated the first phone call from a cell phone. Today, even when the 94-year-old is not on the phone, people still ask, can you hear me now? Because he has two hearing aids. Diana Ross's daughter, Tracy Ellis Ross, looks like she's attending a rodeo in China. Everyone's favorite sarcastic clapper, Nancy Pelosi, tried to do her best impression of Renee Zellweger. Like most Hollywood actresses, Olivia Wilde is trying to hold on to her youth as long as possible, so she let everybody know that she was wearing a vintage piece of clothing, her 8th grade training bra, and she got the white part of her outfit at a store that had a sign in the window that said, everything's 75% off. Get it? Because, like, it's 75% off her body. Fashion designer Vera Wang made a dress in honor of her favorite cookie. She looks like she should eat some. Charlotte Lawrence. Mm -mm. No. It looks like a bunch of bees flew out of your roses and stung your lady lumps. This is probably what my body would look like if I did not eat 35 Girl Scouts for breakfast. What? No, cookies, not Girl Scouts. <laughs> Yara Shahidi did not win an Oscar, but she was offered a job as the new spokesperson for Red Lobster. Tyson Foods announced they are laying off 1,700 people and closing two plants, but they are going to offer employees help finding new jobs with job titles ranging from feather plucker to neck chopper to rooster fluffer to wiping crap off of eggs guy. I do the worst and meanest congratulatory pregnancy messages to celebrities. Remember that time when Kelly Osbourne announced she was pregnant and I said, Kelly posted a photo of herself looking at sonogram pictures. I zoomed in on the pictures and this is what their child's gonna look like. Oh my God. Congratulations to Lindsay Lohan. Headlines stated that she is pregnant with her first baby. Her husband, Bader Shamas, is from Kuwait. So you know there's no shortage of oil in his well. They live in Dubai, so they're going to have to add a nanny to their servant staff, which is comprised of local peasants who have to call her Miss Lindsay and him Master Bader, which are two nicknames that people call confirmed bachelor Senator Lindsey Graham. Lindsay is 36, which is also the total number of mugshots she's had taken. She announced her pregnancy on Instagram with a photo of a baby's onesie outfit with the words coming soon. Her husband posted the same photo with already came. People in France got their croissants deflated when the President Macron said that he was increasing the retirement age from 62 to 64 due to less babies being born and wrinkly people living longer. Garbage workers went on strike because they were angry that their retirement age is moving from 57 to 59. That stinks. Frenchies set fires all over the place because that'll help solve the problem. Protesters held up signs like, I want to be incontinent at 62, not 64. I'm ready for dementia. Now. Pretend like those signs were written in French, not English. Like this one, which translates to, democracy is in danger. Something tells me this person hopes to one day retire from their job as a nipple piercer. Gwyneth Paltrow has been in the news the past few weeks for her diet and also for her current trial, where she's being accused of skiing into the back of an old man. The only time she's in the news is for acting like a jackass. In great news for the eardrums and arteries of TV viewers, Rachel Ray announced that she is finally ending her TV show after 17 years. I guess she finally ran out of ways to make Sammies. And then people can make their own Sammies. Eye roll. Rachel, or as some people call her, Rach, or that annoying <laughs> In sad news for family values, Kellyanne con artist Way 
announced that she and her husband are in the end stages of an amicable divorce, which concludes their unamicable marriage. Kelly's former boss, Donald Trump, sent congratulations to her for finally getting rid of the disgusting albatross around her neck. Sooner or later, we all end up with a disgusting albatross around our neck. Alleged rapper Cardi B, whose full first name is Cardiologist, said that being sentenced to 15 days of community service was the best thing that ever happened to her. Fun fact, she has two children who apparently do not qualify as the best thing that ever happened to her. But I mean, I don't blame her. I wouldn't like anybody who gave me stretch marks inside and outside. A Canadian brother and sister who were born 126 days before their due date were named by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most premature twins. Other people named them a baby shower planner's worst nightmare. Here the twins are after he told them he was going to shove them back into their mom's oven to cook them some more. College officials and parents who actually care about their children are concerned about a new alcohol trend known as a Borg. TikTok is blowing up with videos from students sharing their Borg recipes. She decided to wear that hat before she was drunk. Scott Adams, the creator of the cartoon Dilbert, made headlines this week when he said that black people are a hate group and suggested that white people get the hell away from black people. But at least black people are smart enough to know to get the hell away from anybody who thinks a comic strip is funny. Scott isn't even that great of an artist. It looks like he draws a lot of circles. He obviously doesn't know how to draw a line when it comes to making racist comments. So now the only paycheck that Scott will be getting is when he draws invitations to KKK parties. Speaking of racist cartoon characters, Lauren Boebert announced that she's going to become a grandmother at 36 years old. Lauren had her son at 17, which also made her mom a grandmother at 36, and now she's going to become a great-grandmother at 53, which sounds like it could be a SAT math question. Lauren quit high school and then eventually got her GED a few years ago when she turned 34. Maybe she should have gotten an IUD when she was 16. If you're sick of picking your children up early from school but they're lazy and don't like sports, there's a new after-school activity sweeping the nation called the After School Satan Club. And hungry first graders will eat a snack called deviled eggs. Some parents express concern about the name Satan being used in a school club, so they suggested a more welcoming name like Lucifer's Lounge. Forget about their religious beliefs, I'm more concerned about their beliefs that these hairstyles look good. I wonder who told her that this blue hair dye looking like she tripped and fell headfirst into a toilet full of 2,000 flushes blue would be a good look. Who could it possibly be? Was it? Oh, I don't know. Say it! Toblerone chocolate bars have been forced to remove the image of the famous Matterhorn mountaintop from their packaging. I'm only doing this story because I've never eaten a Toblerone. I usually prefer my chocolate come from iconic Hershey, Pennsylvania. So what better time than to eat my first Toblerone than on camera when I'm probably going to drool? At the bottom it says fruit and nut, which are two words that people have used to describe me. It looks like one of those those spikes that they have at exits to parking lots. Oh, it's crunchy. (laughs) I hate eating on camera, but what is that? Something just like squeezed out or something. It wasn't me. I have a candy bar. A college cheerleader was ejected from a basketball game after she walked onto the court and pushed a player after she felt like he touched her during one of her horrible jumps. B, B. aggressive. B, E, E. aggressive. Um, That's for the players, not the cheerleaders. She was given a foul for her attitude. It looks like a lot of the fans also got ejected because there ain't a lot of butts in the seats. In another cheerleading scandal, the entire Austin P. College cheerleading squad was suspended. The cheerleaders did not accompany the men's basketball team on the bus to their next game, so players were forced to fondle each other. Roald Dahl was the author of famous children's books like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which are now being republished to take out offensive words like fat. In similar news, the famous Charles Dickens story, A Christmas Carol, has now been retitled A Holiday Tale. The character Tiny Tim has been renamed Normal Nicholas because there's absolutely nothing abnormal about this child who looks like he died two weeks ago. With those dark circles under his eyes, they should have renamed him Raccoon Randy. Also, instead of ending the story, God bless us, everyone, 
it now ends. Everyone is hashtag blessed. Barney is unfortunately the only dinosaur that's ever been able to be brought back from extinction. Toy company Mattel announced that they're bringing back the annoying purple character. The only time I watched Barney was when I would babysit my nephews and the only thing I would really do was improvise jokes making fun of the annoying child actors. And I don't think anybody watching this is surprised to hear that. A man has been walking the streets of a California town while dressed as a Sesame Street character, Cookie Monster. Some residents have called the man creepy, which is the same word that some people on social media have called me. So that's fun to be called the same word that's used to describe a mentally ill person while I'm on my bed wearing my dirty robe when I know people are going to watch this. China found a new way to spy on U.S. citizens instead of using the TikTok app. Sky watchers looked up and said, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a really obvious way to spy on people. The U.S. military figured out where it came from when they zoomed in and saw the Made in China sticker. China admitted it was theirs, but they said it was only a weather balloon, to which Marsha Brady replied, sure, Chan. Get it? Chan instead of Jan. This is singer B.B. Rexa. Instead of B.B., she should be called T.T. for torpedo <laughs> Lizzo got tired of people making fun of her body, so she covered up the entire thing, like the government covered up that UFO that crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Shania Twain personified the phrase, you are what you eat, because it's obvious that the only kind of person who would wear this in public is somebody who is high on mushrooms. Australia announced they will be replacing Queen Elizabeth on their $5 bill with someone who is more representative of Australia's indigenous population. So probably Nicole Kidman. Nicole said that she is really fond of the $5 bill because that is how much she pays her four-year-old neighbor to give her husband Keith Urban these horrible haircuts. Two monkeys mysteriously disappeared from the Dallas Zoo. The police told the public to keep an eye out for monkeys that kind of look like this guy. The monkeys were later found in a closet in an abandoned house. Wouldn't be the first time two monkeys were in the closet. The two Emperor Tamarin monkeys were safely returned from freedom to the cruel confinements of a zoo, while the 24-year-old guy who stole them is now spending his free time petting burglary and animal cruelty charges. The suspect also admitted to a prior incident at the zoo where he freed a leopard named Nova. Is her last name Scotia? The modern day Dr. Doolittle, misdemeanors and felonies, said that he would do it all over again because he loves animals. Ironically, he's now locked up like one of the animals he tried to free. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that ironic? Where's Alanis Morissette when you need her to clarify the definition of ironic? I don't know, I'm so glad her career died. Subway announced they will add slicers to stores instead of shipping pre-sliced meat. Yay, said no one. Subway's menu will add toppings like severed fingertips and a new dressing called Type O Positive Ketchup. A 13-year-old girl was arrested in Nebraska for driving over 100 miles per hour on the highway. And it was on a school night. After the police finally caught up to her and got her to pull over and asked her what the hell she was doing, she said she was a Girl Scout just trying to earn her Grand Theft Auto badge. A police search of the car found an 11-year-old boy, a gun, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia, which is a really hard word to spell and pronounce, especially for an 11-year-old kid on drugs. The police did not identify her because she's a minor, but they were overheard whispering that she's a major pain in the ass. Her parents now call her grounded for life. Julia Garner, damn, she's white. On her way to the award show, the police pulled her over for driving while albino. A 29-year-old female college graduate enrolled as a freshman at a high school in New Jersey. Hai Jong Shin, Hai Jong Shin, was expelled after only four days. So tragically, she will not be able to take this limo to the Jersey Shore for prom weekend. The mother of one of the students said she was concerned that parents are always the last to know. I'm smiling because I'm about to say, I'm concerned that her eyebrows are going to wash away after a hot shower. But it's nice to see that she and her daughter have matching mother-daughter nose rings. A town in England painted a white traffic line that had a curved shape that upset a lot of residents 
So they took to the street and formed a conga line as a way to protest. One of the protest signs stated, our counselors are drunk and stupid. In response, two of the counselors held up a sign of their own that said, our residents are drunk, stupid, and horrible dancers. Even Mickey Mouse joined the protesters in the conga line, while Minnie Mouse stayed at the local pub getting drunk with the counselors. Protesters gathered in a town in Germany, which I won't even try to pronounce the name of it because it'll just be a disaster, like George Santos. They were there to complain about demolishing an entire village just to expand a coal mine. The police tried to control the protesters, but their boots kept getting stuck in the mud, which is pretty funny, while the protesters just stood there taunting them. Everyone's favorite ball of sunshine, Greta Thunberg, showed up to bring attention to their cause. Here is Greta testing a new emissions-free way of traveling called Being Carried by Three Police Officers. Musical artist Doja Cat looked like the offspring of a leper who mated with Kool-Aid Man. Kylie Jenner showed up with a fake lion's head covering her fake chest. I don't know who would buy these and wear these other than a virgin going to a frat party. <laughs> Famous neat freak Marie Kondo said her house is messy after having three children. I bet that's not the only thing that's messy after having three children. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but we know it's highly inappropriate what we're all thinking. Anyway... Marie became famous a few years ago after encouraging people to tidy up their homes and declutter as a way to restore calmness and spark joy in their lives. Now, Marie yells at her kids to go to bed so she can spark a joint. <laughs> so if your house is a mess, but you're happy, save your money and do not buy any of her books because that's two less objects you'll have to eventually get rid of. Six foot nine WNBA player Brittany Griner was released after a prisoner swap with Russia. Brittany was in jail for having less than one gram of hashish oil in her luggage. If I was her, I would have told the authorities, oh, I use that oil to try and stop the wheels on my luggage from squeaking. In another case of luggage drama, a government employee named Sam Brinton, who identifies as non-binary, but who looks like Mr. Clean's son with some lipstick, was arrested for stealing women's luggage in both Minnesota and Las Vegas. In this picture, I assume he's wearing some of the items he stole from the luggage from Las Vegas because no woman from Minnesota would be caught dead wearing this. But a former sorority sister in Las Vegas for a bachelorette party would. The crime is punishable by up to 10 years in prison, so he recently transitioned from non-binary to trinary. Trying everything to stay out of a men's prison... Unfortunately, some bad health news for Celine Dion. She announced that she suffers from something called stiff person syndrome, and it's not to be confused with stiff man syndrome, which affects about one out of every one men who swallow a Viagra. My condolences to Celine and anybody within 15 feet of a man who just ate a Viagra. <laughs> Harvard University announced that Claudine Gay will become its 30th president she replaces Lawrence Bacow, whose grandfather was probably a chiropractor. He said he wants to leave to spend more time with his family. And whenever I hear that, I think there's got to be some kind of scandal that's about to break. Because who wants to spend more time with their family? A two-year-old boy playing by a lake was swallowed by a hippo in Uganda. Luckily, he made a full recovery or else I couldn't make fun of this story. A bystander witnessed the afternoon snack in progress and started throwing things at the hippo, which then spit the kid out. Inspired by the tragic event, Hasbro, the maker of the popular 1980s game Hungry Hungry Hippo, has announced plans to turn the game into a live-action safari. Must be two years old or younger to play. A Russian sausage tycoon who was on vacation in India was found dead after he fell from his hotel room's third-floor window. I guess that's one funeral where the family members won't try and console each other by saying, well, at least he died doing what he loved. Just three days earlier, this guy's friend who was staying at the same hotel was found dead surrounded by empty wine bottles. So his family did say, well, at least he died doing what he loved. No word yet on whether the hotel charged extra fees for early checkout. Former astronaut and supermodel George Santos was also revealed to be a former liar. He said his dad was black before he died. I don't know what color he is after he died. El Presidente Jose Biden got an urge for Taco Bell, so he made a run for the border. 
And while he was there, he checked out the wall. Some of the locals wanted to support the economy by buying materials to make protest signs that Joe wouldn't even see because he's got glaucoma. Joe went down a dusty street that had a small playground. After about two hours, the Secret Service had to say, all right, Joe, that's enough of the seesaw. He also said the bright side of the border crisis is that Greyhound is thriving because their buses are always full going to Democratic cities. This outfit could be described as sheer, sheer trash. (laughs) Gigi Paris looked like the bottom part of her dress was still stuck in Paris, so she had to borrow her grandma's curtain from her living room to cover her junk. Sigourney Weaver gave fans a sneak peek of the dress that she's going to be buried in. Seth Rogen must be a vampire because there's no way he looked in a mirror and saw this looking back at him and thought, yeah. He is a well-known pothead, so that explains this outfit. And finally, Emma Darcy. Mm -hmm. In sports news, LeBron James became the NBA's all-time leading scorer. However, he's a long way from breaking Will Chamberlain's record of sleeping with over 20,000 women. At least that's what he told his high school sweetheart wife. Ouch, that's not even funny. I'm not doing that one. Ah. The hell was that noise? <laughs>